Uh, so it's New Year, which means many of us might be pledging to lose a few pounds by trading treats for salad, perhaps the treadmill, or rutting outside, whatever it is. Uh, the man who popularised the 5-2 diet is back with a new regime, uh, which the claim is it's more manageable. Rather than cutting your intake to 500 calories twice a week, Michael Mosley is now recommending 800 calories every day. And Michael is here to explain. Hi, um, good morning. So is this like a... The next stage of the 5 2? How, how have, you, have you sort of arrived at why? Is it science that's telling you? Yes, absolutely. So it's an evolution, if you like. Because I wrote the original book six years ago, and that was mainly based on rat studies and things like that. And since then, there have been quite a few human studies, and a lot of people have um, reported to me, and I've also spoken to the scientists involved in doing that research. And one of the things that's very clear is that many people do well on it, but people struggled on five to 600. And in fact, when you actually looked what they ate, it was more like 800. So this is a sort of a stage process as well, but the first stage is rapid weight loss, and that is 800 calories a day. And that's based on a couple of really big studies which came out last year. And indeed, the NHS has recently embraced the idea of 8,000 calories a day sounds like a crash diet, doesn't 800. it? 800. 800. <laughs> <laughs> 8,000. I, I mean, I, even like, Dan might struggle to eat 8,000. Well, like my diet, that way. Really. <laughs> that is quite, that's I the North Pole diet. That's the world's strongest man, that, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that, 800. <laughs> that's OK. Oh, dear, that's embarrassing. No, no, it's fine. Um, so, so the idea is, that what, if you needed to lose weight, you would do the 800 for a couple of weeks? Yes, two to three weeks at the minimum. And some people actually continue to do it for up to 12 weeks. Right. Because they did a study um, based in the north of England. Uh, Professor Roy Taylor and his team... Uh, it was 800 calories a day for up to 12 weeks, an average weight loss of around 14 kilos, and half the people, these were type 2 diabetics, and half the people were able to come off all medication and return their blood sugars to normal. But right. there was another study done by Oxford where they did it not in diabetics, same sort of figures, around 10 kilos sustained over a year. Let's have a look at what 800 calories so that's or what so it would look looks like. like. Yep. So this is your three meals for the day? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... It's, it's not much, is it? Well, it's OK. So for breakfast, it's eggs. I've got asparagus there. The book basically has a range of recipes, but I'm a huge fan of eggs because eggs kind of fill you up. Mm. And uh, you can have scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, however you want them. Sometimes I have it with ham or a bit of salmon or something like that. So that's no breakfast. Toast. Hmm? No, no toast, toast, I'm afraid. Uh, plenty of coffee, tea and things like that. Mm -hmm. you know, plenty of fluid. I'd encourage anybody who's doing a low-calorie diet to drink lots and lots of fluid because you're going to dry out. It's pretty carb-free everywhere there, actually, it's isn't it? It's low-carb, certainly. And that's one of the things which is very clear now, uh, is that going on a low-carb diet is also known as a ketogenic diet. What it does is it means your body starts to burn fat, because your body runs on two different fuel systems. It runs on sugar and it runs on fat. And only when the sugar starts to go down do you switch to fat mode. And that normally takes 10 to 12 hours, unless you're on a relatively low-carb diet. Now, I wouldn't recommend being low-carb all the time because I think there are lots of good reasons for eating carbs. But these carbs, you know, those are carbs. Uh, the veggies are all carbs, but it's kind of healthy carbs. It doesn't look like much. Well, it's OK, actually. What people report, and these um, studies have been done in hundreds and hundreds of people, the NHS is rolling out a programme in 5,000 people, uh, is that people say after about a week or two, you stop feeling hungry. So oh. that is really surprising. I, adjusting your body, your body absolutely. adjusting. Now, I did this because I decided to do a supersize experiment in which I was going to kind of, you know, uh, make myself fat, and then I made myself thin again, and that's kind of what I wrote about. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to start, end there, and there's also stuff about uh, high-intensity training in there as well, yep. and strength and conditioning also you think is important. But um, thank you very much. The book is called The Fast 800. Thank you very much. Lovely thank to talk to you.